Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a baby talker box from Still Moments Nursery into a reborn baby doll and this is the new method this little screw on part I'm gonna follow these instructions the best I can when you open your box up put your battery pack on charge so connect the battery pack into this other cord and then this part plugs into just a normal phone charger and it illuminates red when it is charging. Sorry about the dodgy lighting but you can see that it is red so it is charging. I am assuming it will stop being red when it's charged but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Here's the baby that I'm going to put the talker box into so I'm just gonna undress the baby now that Bub is all undressed, we're going to cut the cable tie, take the head off, and remove all of the stuffing and the weighting out of the baby. I'm going to turn the baby over on to the back. And then we're going to choose a spot where the little hole is going to be in the fabric. This part looks like it's the template. It's up to you if you want to take the legs off or not, but I don't want to waste cable ties. I'm pretty... Um, I don't mind drawing up here kind of thing so I think I'll just put it right here I don't know should I put it more in the middle well that's on the bum in the nappy anyways I'm nervous and it doesn't matter which side this comes out oh, okay we're just gonna go here I'm just pushing my fingers behind so that there's something for me to stabilize on. And the marker that I'm using, or the pen that I'm using, is a special iron off pen or heat friction pen. When heat comes near it, it actually rubs off. I don't know how this goes with being ironed, but I could always iron it with something over the top of it that would create heat and would remove the mark as well. It looks like such a big hole, but I think it'll be okay. Because the body has the back piece as well, be very careful when you snip that the back layer, or like I guess you would call it the front of the fabric, isn't touching it. So I've just got my finger in there and there's just this piece of fabric. I'm going to be super careful. Everyone was taught this, weren't they? If you fold a fabric in half and you snip it, just be careful you don't snip it too much on one side because it might not be even. But if you fold a fabric in half, you can snip it. And then you can put the scissors in the hole and gently go all the way around.
That was probably the trickiest part of this whole thing. <laughs> I started off with my good sewing scissors, or my smaller sewing scissors, but I started off with these ones. I moved to my old trimming scissors and they weren't sharp enough, and then I ended up with my pair of little trimming whatever scissors that were still not sharp enough, but they did the job. So this size is a good size. They're about the size of my hand. Uh, whatever you got, but you want them to be sharp so that your hole is nice and round and clean. This little piece comes screwed together. And I think it even has this part on the inside of it. So we've unscrewed it. We're going to pop this part on the inside of the body and this part on the outside. So if we find the little hole, I'm just going to put my fingers on the inside and try and line that up. Perfect. So poke that bit in the hole. And then if we, oh, oh my God, did I do the hole too big? No, it's okay. There's a little bit of room there. So that's what it looks like on, we're looking at the inside of the body now. So this is the outside and I'm just going to screw this on. Wait, I've got to put the plug in. Hang 10. I've got the box. So I was having a little bit of a fiddle and trying to work out how to get it to line up. Well, that's a bit tricky with one hand. I think if you line it up on like a diagonal, so that one's like horizontal at the moment. If you put this one on like there and then you kind of push it together. It's a little tricky with one hand. A lot easier with two. Oops, that one's wrong diagonal. Oopsies, and it hasn't caught all the fabric. Hang ten, I need to put this down. Let me try that again. So, I think next time I would cut the hole slightly smaller than the circle that you did. I did try and cut it smaller anyways, but I'd try and cut on the inside of the line, which I did try and do, but maybe I didn't. And then when I put this on, I wouldn't line it up. I would honestly angle it up that way. I don't know what to, like up to the top left corner or up to one of the corners and then I think you kind of like got to push it a little bit to get the threads to line up and then there we go but does it need a bit more than that it's not gonna line up straight otherwise oh wait a minute is it so close? Oh my goodness, that's so tight. One more little turn. That was a little tricky to get undone. Okay. So, you're going to need to put the cord through here, through this part that has the, I don't know what kind of edge this is, like a ribbed edge. Then you're going to need to put the cord through the other hole on the other side and that will come out the baby's bum, back, whatever. And then we're going to line this up. Oh, it's a little tricky with all these limbs on here, sorry. Pop that one through the hole. There we go, we can see everything. And then we're going to try and angle it to the corner and push it on a little bit, maybe even further away. And we'll just push it and see how we go. I guess it doesn't really matter if it doesn't line up because the cord's already through. I do like the idea of it lining up though. It will just look nicer. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to go half-half so it doesn't move so much. Like a cross. I don't know, it's pretty stuck there. And all the fabric seems stuck. 
So now we're going to put our fluffing that we had in the bum back in the bum. This isn't going to go through, is it? Good. We don't want it to fall through. We want to put our stuffing back in the bottom. Fluffing, stuffing. Make sure this doesn't fall through. Alrighty guys, I'm back. Sorry, it is the next day. It was, I looked at the time and it was late and I was like, I'm just going to bed and I did. <laughs> um, I had to get up for work this morning. Pretty early. So anyways, we have this screwed on. This um, cord is coming out the back. We've got some stuffing in the butt. A little bit more in there. Then we're going to put this on the back of the baby like where the back is, so on this side, and then this we're going to aim to have, we're going to have this on the back of the baby, like I said, and then we're going to aim to have the back, it says back on it in big letters, touching on here, and aiming down, and we're probably going to have that up way so it's in the, the knot in the head, so that you can't feel it in the bum, you shouldn't feel it anyways. And then that way it will push the sound to the front of the chest. So it's actually going to go this way because it's upside down, remember? If you're wanting to reweigh the baby the same amount and you're adding these three pieces in, so remember you're adding this into the baby, this has to be added because it's part of um, keeping it in. I am weighing this tiny little clip but I don't think that weighs much. And at the end of the day, when you're using the, ba the baby, you're going to have this uh, battery block in the baby's nappy. So I figured we'd put all of the same um, amount in. Let's just put the baby talker on. That is 80 grams. So I will work out what that is for you guys. I'll put it on the screen. And then I'll do this one separate. The battery pack is 70 grams on its own and together everything is 150 grams. So we'll put that in. We can turn him onto his front now, whoopsies, so you can see what I mean. So put his weighting back in. These are not very heavy, so I'm not even going to reweight the baby. I don't think there's any reason to do that. Make sure the cord doesn't come out. And then I'm going to pop the talker box in there. I'm going to get the cord out the bottom of his butt. There we go. Now we want to get the stuffing and fill all the way around and of course we want some on top of the box so you can't feel it. Don't forget to put your wonder wafer bits back in. This just helps make the baby smell nice. It's not necessary if you have them but if you're wondering what it is, it is a baby scented wonder wafer. It smells like baby powder and it's beautiful. Whack them in there as well. In between the back of the talker box and the fine glass beads is where I put those. They might move around, but that's okay. And then we're going to stuff the sides. The front seems okay, and in between here seems okay. Just a little tip, if you want the stuffing to be fluffier, break it up a bit and that will make it spongier, fluffier. You can see that that's a lot fluffier compared to this piece where it's very dense. So I'll turn that around.
So when you do it, there might be some stuffing left over, depending on how much you put in and how you like the baby to feel. We have our charged battery. This will turn off, it will stop um, illuminating red when it's charged. We're going to gently unplug here. Let's just plug it in here to see how it goes. This way. Oh, it's on. A little bit creepy because there's no head on the baby. But it's working. So we're going to get a new cable tie and put on the baby's head once we're happy with the placement of the box in the baby. You're going to feel it at the end of the day is putting something hard into a body that's supposed to be soft. So just be mindful of that. Got my cable tie. I'm going to see which end. Going to thread it in. And around. And it's going to come out the other side. When I buy cable ties, I just buy the head cable ties or the longest ones just because then I can do anything with it. It is a little bit of a waste for the limbs, but then I won't have heaps and heaps of limb ones left and no head ones left. So I figure just buy one size. What I've done is I've put it in and I've tightened it enough to where it's almost a complete circle. Then I'm going to get the baby's head and pop it in and I bring it to the front so that it lines up. If that kind of, you can see how I'm doing that. Then I pull it tighter, keeping an eye on where it's closing over and trying to push the stuffing in so the stuffing's not poking out because that's a little annoying too. Getting very close. Still got some room. Alright, it's getting really close. Head can still move. Happy with that. Oh, just a little bit tighter. A little bit tighter. I worry that it's heads. His it. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Comment below if you think this baby is a boy or a girl baby. I've put a post on Instagram and I've put. I've asked a few people and I keep getting kind of mixed reviews. <laughs> when you're when you're happy with the cable tie, give it a snip nice and close to the end. And it's up to you, you can tuck it in here. Like that. Put the scissors under. There we go. All tucked away now. And you can also just poke it that last little bit as well. If you haven't seen a stamp on a reborn baby before, a stamped neck, it says Marley by Cassie Brace. See, a little bit hard to see. This is what our final look is. We've got the little cord at the bottom that comes out. This is the battery pack that goes, clicks on here, and then you can pop it in the nappy and it's not felt. We can turn him on. I think it's a he for the moment, but I don't know. Which way? Got to make sure it's the right way. You don't want to click it the wrong way. Whoopsies. Let's do a trial run. That's a very cute. I've just kind of looped the quarter around so it's not, um, you know, like getting like snapped or like the cord's not too, I don't know, 
one direction kind of thing. I've just like put it so the cord like ravels around and it's not got any points that are going to be a bother. Mm. Let's get something for you to wear. Yeah, don't worry, buddy. I'd be upset if someone was playing with my battery pack, too. <laughs> That's better. I think you've got to have the battery pack in the middle of their legs rather than on their bum. Because I feel like you pat a baby's bum like that. Or well, I do, anyways. I think he is definitely a little boy. Put him in his little outfit. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video on learning how to install a baby talker box if you don't think that you're able to do it i will be popping some baby talker boxes into babies as a cheaper alternative for a baby that cries and makes noises and of course you can bluetooth the baby talker box to the baby sydney app that i created and download that in the app store so that's another option as well Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!